The way that we work with customers is massively important. What we know as being a great real estate agent is that we actually grade people into some different categories sitting inside of our database. First of all, we start working with buyers and there's hundreds, if not thousands, and sometimes hundreds of thousands of buyers that we get to meet in any one year. And what actually happens over a period of time is that database just builds and builds and builds. But not every single person is gonna be actively involved or actively ready for you to be having good quality phone conversations with them. This is the benefit about what really happens inside of digital is that email is in a position that does all of the heavy lifting. It actually allows us to be in a position that we can send very specific content, to have a specific content plan with different types of people. And then when people go to show what we go to call digital intent, and that then changes the way we go to serve them. So one of the great things is that we can track everything that a consumer is actually doing based off what they're doing inside of that email. Are they opening up and having a look at specific properties? Are they having a look at some of the recent sales? Are they in a position that they're showing even further intent by booking an appraisal appointment or even in a position where they update their preferences? You see, our skill and our ability is to learn how we read the digital signals to actually work out who's next for that high level of personalization. Now, the key conversation is here is that when we first started out, before we got into the digital world, we used to open up a property and maybe we'd have two, three, maybe even four people come through. And over the course of the campaign, we might get to meet 20 people. And that was when real estate was like seriously good and it was very personalized and it was a great level of relationship. But all of a sudden, the world rapidly changed. As we went more digital, people started to explore more areas. They started to see better value in different locations. And before you know it, we're having buyers and sellers coming in and out of properties from all over the place. And the secret with that is that digital has really allowed a greater level of interconnectedness. Our capability now is to actually define what we're gonna go and do. So a buyer is gonna stay on our buyer alerts, which relate specifically to properties that could suit in and around their requirements. But all of a sudden, if we start seeing them doing other activities, like let's say, for example, making an offer on a property, and showing digital intent by downloading a copy of a pest inspection or a building inspection, or even a position that they go back to visit a property and even book in for a private appointment time, those buyers are actually graded to be someone that we've got to call our buyer hit list. Now, the buyer hit list might receive a very different email to your buyers, not only a list of the properties that are also coming to market, but also those properties that have recently sold to give them an idea on what properties are actually worth in and around that marketplace so then they can make some better decisions around where price and value are meeting. That then allows us to further detail the conversations that we're having with people because we can see with that digital intent, whether or not it's updating preferences, what they're clicking on, what they're looking at, as to whether or not we should be jumping on the phone to have a really good quality conversation. As we start to expand the scope and we start to expand the growth of our business, what's critically important here is that we have the capacity to know who to go to call next and the digital intent of what consumers are doing is a great way to align your good quality call list because we know that these people actually have some level of intent to want to make that purchasing or selling decision. As a great agent, you've got to learn how to read the signs. And now in the digital world, we can actually find out what people are intending to do in the real world where we can be more effective in providing a higher level of service to the people that really matter at that pointy end of the transaction.